Opposition leaders, they will uh, announce to the nation if they manage to, to, um, to gather the million people that they were looking for. And also, opposition, leaders Enrique, or opposition leader Enrique Capriles Radonsky, he said that uh, if they don't get any response from the National Electoral Board, they will specify uh, the next point that they are going to take. Uh, that means that if they don't get the response they are looking for, they will continue taking to the streets. But I can tell you that even today, behind me there are still people protesting and they are waiting for opposition leaders to say something. What sort of signs and wordings uh, can you see from these protests? What are people saying? Well, um, uh, there is a lot of hope. Most people, they were afraid of today's protest because uh, the previous one here in Venezuela resulted to be violent. But um, I had the opportunity to speak with many of the protesters today, and they were hopeful. Um, uh, they are protesting not only because of the recall pro a referendum process. Let's not forget that Venezuelans are living with a skyrocketing inflation, rolling power blackouts, spiraling crime, and water rationing. So for many people protesting today here in Caracas, they see this protest as a wake-up call to the government to realize that most Venezuelans, as they claim, they just want to oust Maduro because they see this as the first step towards taking Venezuela out of its current economic and political crisis. Venezuelans right now, they are full of hope. They say that they are not afraid and they think changes might be, uh, might be next after this protest. Has the president commented, commented at all today as these protests have been unfolding? Well, uh, Nicolás Maduro, he also had another protest here in uh, Caracas, in the other side of the city, and he managed to gather uh, thousands of people as well. And he said that the opposition only wants to put pressure on the electoral board and to create violence amongst Venezuelans. But uh, despite that, it has been a really quiet uh, environment going on here, despite the fact that we have two uh, protests going on, one of supporters of Nicolás Maduro's government and the other one by the opposition. It was that they were, there was going to be a collision, but so far everything is calm and peaceful and President Maduro seems to be uh, quite happy on how everything is turning out. These kinds of protests, I mean, do they actually affect um, pressure, enough pressure to see changes? Uh, what, what have been the effects of previous protests in, in this regard? I mean, can the president simply ignore this and carry on business as usual? Well, the thing is that here uh, with the recall referendum process, the opposition, uh, they uh, presented a petition to the National Electoral Board uh, last March 2016, and they asked for a re recall referendum. They are now in the third step, and uh, the head of the National Electoral Board, they gave the opposition a date for uh, collecting 4 million signatures, which will uh, activate, will, will trigger a, a recall referendum uh, against Nicolás Maduro. The thing is, that the National Electoral Council, they gave uh, the opposition the last week of October to collect four million signatures. Now the opposition, they say that they don't have enough time in order to have the recall referendum this year, because according to the Constitution of Venezuela, if they don't get President Maduro's recall this year, any recall vote will simply pass power to Maduro's vice president. And the opposition, they just don't want that because they say it will be a continuation of the same policies that put Venezuela into this very position. So um, opposition leaders like Enrique Capriles Radonsky, they, w they expect that protests like this can show the uh, National Electoral Board and the government that Venezuelans uh, simply want Maduro recall this year. But despite the fact that they want recall this year, they just want to show how uh, frustrated uh, they are and how they struggle every single day to live here in Venezuela. Of course, we are going to be waiting for the National Electoral Council for any response. Um, it has been in the past in that way in where, uh, where the opposition called for Venezuelan to take to the streets and then in one or two days we have a declaration from the National Electoral Council. But we still need to wait till 2 p.m. Venezuela time to see if uh, what opposition leaders have to say and if they have positive news for all the protesters that took to the streets today in Caracas and that they are hopeful that the opposition leaders have something positive to say to them. Brazil's former president, Dilma Rousseff,